Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. In the previous episode we had a really good double laser run. I have kept the mod on just because of how fun that uh, that run was. But I, I, I'm still undecided whether I'm keeping that mod on or not. I really don't know yet. Uh, let's play as Zazel, honestly. We've got to do it at some point. I've been putting it off. He's relatively easy. I'm not going to say that I'm definitely going to win with him because I'm not. He is very short range. It does make some of the harder bosses a lot harder. Oh my god. But... I will say, it is it is very nice to play as Azazel in these earlier floors. Makes some things a lot, lot easier. A lot, lot easier indeed. So, happy to have him. Hopefully, we get some stuff that synergizes with his uh, Brimstone. That's the one thing I don't like about playing as Azazel. For one, obviously, he's quite overpowered. But two, there's so many synergies you can't get. And so many items that don't work as him. It's kind of sad, really. How did that not do much damage at all, though? What's going on? I got you, and you, and you. Easy. And we got plus three luck, which is actually really nice to get right off the bat. Like, honestly, luck isn't exactly a big item to get early on. Um, uh, so, sorry, normally, but early on, it's it's actually really, really important. If you can get that much luck, three, is, is pretty damn good. That's going to mean a lot more room drops, a lot more reliable consumable throughout the course of this run, hopefully. And we got little guardians, was little guardian familiar that will fly on top of the room following uh, the player, randomly fires lasers at the player. Okay. Let's see how this works then. This sounds kind of interesting. Sounds kind of cool. I'm happy to have it. Let's move down to the next floor. First floor, obviously pretty quick there. Uh, the good thing about Azazel as well is he's so protected for a deal of the devil. Um, obviously, it's going to cost a little more, and it's, it's usually quite nice to get a red heart from your first boss. Okay, so I see. When we go into a room with combat, it's going to fly above us. And then it's going to eventually fire a laser between me and the enemy. It doesn't seem to be wanting to do it right now, but there you go. It just did it right at the end of combat. So that's, of course, great timing there. But I imagine he'll start to do that a little more regularly. Um, and hopefully get some good damage. But that seems kind of useful. It depends how often it does it, really. Um, so far, it seems... Very irregular, considering it's not even done it once while the combat's actually been taking place. Uh, so we might have a bit of issue with it there, but if that starts to be a bit more useful and, and do its thing a bit more often, then it's going to be pretty nice to have. Acid Baby's honestly not bad either. Using pills is going to give us a poison effect on the enemies in the room. It's also going to mean we get more pills, which could be a detriment, could also be quite a good positive. It really depends. Right now, though, we are stacking, stacking, stacking up. Pennies and that. I think this guy might be really good against bosses, actually, the little angel dude. I'm going to go and try and find our shop. I think it would behoove us to get to our shop. Something I would like right now, our damage is fine. I'd very much like range, though. If we get a big range up, that'd be good. There you go. We got our first kill with it there. So it seems to be maybe time-based, like if we're in the room for a while. So we want to be taking pills and using them in combat rooms because we're going to be poisoning all the enemies by doing that. And we also got a power pill as well, which is nice. It's just going to be good to figure out what all the pills do, really. Unfortunately, this isn't the shop area. We went a really long way for not much reward. But we did get a nickel, though. So a nickel could be an extra soul heart, and that's never a bad thing. Never a bad thing indeed. Something I did want to ask some of you mod creators out there. Is there a reason why you saw that rainbow heart back there? That wasn't a rainbow heart when I walked out of the room. And then when I walked back in, it was. Sometimes the they change like that, and I don't really get why. Um, so as I said, we'll be able to get one of them, and honestly, we might as well buy starter deck as well. I don't know what these are about, but I'm sure I'll get around to it, and we've got the Joker card as well. So the sorry pill, I'm going to leave you there. Um, I will indeed bomb this guy as well. E, And we'll keep moving on. Sorry, fool card. Joker card is much more important for us right now. We haven't fought our boss yet, so we'll go and see what he's about. Hopefully, our little guardian is going to be really good here. Honestly, this room, though, is less likely to be good. Because it's a very, very short room. If it was the other way around and it was, um, it was like really long rather than, than really wide, it'd be pretty good. But right now it's not great. Also, this room is just the worst. Luckily, he went down relatively quickly here. So we'll get a free deal of the devil. We got Cracker Jacks, which is great. That's going to give us a red heart to start dealing with. Small chance for a half a heart to spawn picking up a coin. That sounds amazing. Um, and we got Time Gal. Now, Time Gal is one that we've had before, and we kind of were a bit undecided on her, but I will take her because basically it's free considering we've got Cracker Jacks. 
And two, I'm pretty sure it got changed because it's last time I had it, it seemed a lot more balanced. And I'm just liking the amount of familiars we're getting right now. So it looks like this room isn't going to be a success just because of the type of enemies it is. But as you can see, the, the timer is much more forgiving, which is nice. Just pop your tail up, you little bastard. Like, I think these enemies are so annoying. Enemies that do stuff like this, bad design in my opinion. Enemies that make you wait around, that's going to be so powerful. Oh, what the hell is this, this thing? I don't know what this is. That's scary. I would like you to pop up, please. Yep. So I'm not going to get rewards if enemies like this are in the room. That is one problem. Hey, we just got Steven from a random chest. I did just take damage there, which is pretty bad, but... Oh my god, taking damage again. Oh my god, take damage again. Wow, I just took so much damage so quickly there. Just because I was being impatient. So these guys seem a bit weird. Okay, there you go. We finally got a reward this time. We got ourselves a booster pack. And we got ourselves the hero font. Lovely. Um, we got ourselves huge growth. We got ourselves two of hearts. We got ourselves a glitch card. I'm just going to go with the Joker still. The Joker is what I like to see. So it seems that maybe Deliverance got an update because there's some new enemies that we're seeing here. Unless it's some of the enemies from... Oh my god. I'm so bad for getting hit. So... Tears have a chance to stick to enemies. Oh, the tonsil stone. Okay, we had that last time. I quite like that, actually. I quite like that, indeed. We're going to be using all these pills to find out what they are. That time, Gal one was well unfair. But enemies like this are really, really annoying with, um, with Azazel. Because they're just very hard to get up close to safely. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage here, but don't worry about it, guys. I've got a plan. Just pick up money and get half hearts and get loads and loads of things that give us health for free. Yeah, so some of the time gal things are quite difficult. Also, them enemies seem kind of weird. There's not really any electric firing enemies or laser firing enemies in the game apart from the brimstone ones. We've got Desert Degas. We'll just take that for the HP. We'll take this pill to see what it is. x -lax. Okay, we've got that room. We've got the key as well. Lovely. Got that too. We've got ourselves another key and an Emperor card. Don't really need the Emperor card right now, but it's nice to know it's there. Um, we'll use that. we got the Hanged Man. We'll just use that now. Oh my god. Okay, so it seems that I lose my luck upon getting hit in a room, which is weird. Right, we'll go to our boss. We've been to our item room, haven't we? Yes, we have. Oh, of course. I don't know why I keep pooping whenever I get hit. That's confusing me. I'm not really sure what that's about. We should get a soul heart from this, though. Yep. And we got the pentagram as well. And we can even use this to have a look at a deal of the devil. Unfortunately, not a particularly good deal of the devil. In fact, an actively bad deal of the devil. So, a bit of a waste of a card use there. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell on it considering we got Steven and Pentagram this floor, which is a huge amount of damage up, really. That's gonna put us in a very good position. We've got an item up here. Uh starvation is not one that I want. I'm gonna leave that for now. Yeah, starvation's one of those ones where you kinda gotta play to its strengths, and I I don't like the way it makes you play. And also if you can't get HP reliably, then you can even play to its strengths. So I'm gonna avoid doing that. Paralysis is a really good one to get out of the way because pr taking paralysis in a room with combat is obviously going to be guaranteed damage. We just missed out on that. Check what's in here. Ooh, this is nice. I'll actually do some donating here. And it's going to be very nice for soul hearts too. I didn't even think about that. Should get maybe another half soul heart here. Nope. Unfortunately, we just got them too. So it does seem like it's the, the, the chances are kind of fair. We'll go down to 15 cent. There you go. Get a little bit of donations going. And what the hell is this room? We got a pear throw. We got a black rune. We got a glitch card. So, if we black rune there, yeah, it just gives us a bunch of flies. I was, I was kind of wanting to take the pear throw, but I wanted to see what that was going to be like. Hey, this is great. Here's our shop. 
And we've got some unknown card. We've got the Smelter, which could be interesting. Although I think I'm just going to go for a reroll and see if we can get something a little bit better. Um, still going to reroll that. I definitely think we can get some better items out of this. Yeah, that's really not useful at all. Fire extinguisher doesn't seem like it has any usage. Envy. Um, yeah, Envy's still not being reworked and still pretty bad. Restock, we've got Humbling Bundle. I think Humbling Bundle's the way to go here. And we'll probably buy restock if we get the pennies to do that. Who knows if we will, but we'll see. I'm really unsure as to why I'm dropping poop every time I get hit, or a lot of the times when I get hit. This is another thing I didn't even think about as well. Time Gal is actually going to pay out a little more, which is nice. There you go. So we got on a fur humbling bundle now, so let's go back and make sure we pick that up. Because it's just going to be... Oh, it's going to teleport me around, isn't it? It's just going to be a useful a useful item to have just in case we get put into a situation where we can actually buy out the shop. I mean, it's not likely and, and it is going to be possible that we never get any usage out of it. But at the same time, there's also a good chance that we do get some usage out of it and it ends up giving us a lot, lot more for our book. I do believe one downside of... Um, having humbling bundle is you can no longer get lucky pennies because lucky pennies are single pennies i don't know if that's the case that might not be that might not be true i might be completely wrong about that ow yeah i really wish this angel would do something like it seems like a cool idea but it it never works like i i just it's just not doing anything like, there you go, you hit there, but there was no enemies there. Oh my god, I keep missing out on the time gal by just a tiny little bit. There you go, we got it that time. And we got ourselves a Yarrow Rune. I'll definitely take a Yarrow Rune with me. Everyone knows the Yarrow Rune's a party. Devil. Oh my god, there you go, the money's getting up there already, so we're going to be in a position to use restock. On some of these future falls. We get a chest for this one as well. So, oh, we're so close. I've, I've rushed it and ended up taking damage. Some of them are really, really uh, difficult. I think it goes on average health of the enemies in the room you're in or something. Because when it's weaker enemies like that, it gives you no time at all. So this guy's going to take a little bit longer than our average boss, but you've got to remember that we are playing in a situation where um, we've got a lot of damage here. We should be fine. We might not be able to take a deal the devil. Standing above him definitely seems like the best idea, considering we can get our little angel to get hit on him. And when the angel does hit, I mean, it does hit hard. We can double our money there. We definitely keep our Yera, so we'll keep on with that. And we've got the screw. Screw's very good for us. Um, the shot speed obviously doesn't make any difference, but the uh, increased rate of fire is very, very nice. Being able to charge up just that little bit quicker is going to be very valuable to us. And there you go, look, money on tap. We probably want to save our Yera for when we get down to the chest. I mean, that seems like a long time to save it. But honestly, holding onto a Yera to get an extra four items is very, very, very valuable. And it really shouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't be forgotten about ever. The potential of that Yera rune is is very, very high. Just one minute. I need to move my pop filter. There you go. Yeah, the potential is so high that it's, it's worth holding on to. Unfortunately, we couldn't quite get him. I thought we had him. But unfortunately, missed out on that chest. We just need contact from below now to get double um, room reward drops. With our three luck, we're getting the room rewards pretty often and we get even more. We got Firestorm, unfortunately, not that great for us. Our cards aren't really going to be that useful for us right now, which is a shame because we're holding on to Yera, and it can't spawn runes either, so we are going to miss out on a few of those. I didn't even realize that's where it was there. Time Gal was right in the way. Right in the way. There you go, get an extra spider. We haven't been to our item room yet, so let's make our way back over there first. There's no point um, just giving up on the item room. We've got plenty of keys. And also, we can only go to the shop as well. We have plenty of money, too. What the hell is that thing? It's dead now, but that was a weird-looking creature. A weird beastie. Nice some extra hearts. I feel grown up. Did that say something like that? Ow, he got me. 
I'm getting hit quite regularly here, but honestly, we're, we're usually making up the health pretty, pretty darn quickly, really. Considering the hero fonts we're getting and all that sort of stuff, we would not be having too much trouble there. We should take a look inside here, though. See what we got in here. Uh, we do have... Ooh, Rotten Penny's good. Ah, I kind of wish I'd taken Smelter now. Rotten Penny plus Holy Penny or whatever this penny's called. Would have been a pretty good combo, to be honest. Black Heart for the killing that guy. That's very nice. And here's our item room. Honestly, Contagion could be useful. I do see that Tinted Rock amongst the darkness there, so do not think I forgot. I am a vigilant boy. I did see it. Um, and then we have in our shop the present, which is nice. We can get a free um, item room item. So just go in here, use it. We got Kernhead, um, plus one Soul Heart and a chance to negate damage. That's not bad. We've got whatever this is. Oop, I did not mean to pick that up. What does it do? Um, quick dry and cement removes all holes in the room. We can fly, so that's useless. So that was a bit of a pointless purchase there. I do apologize. Um, it's rather annoying. We'll definitely take this. And, yeah, unfortunately, we can't buy anything more because I accidentally purchased that quick drying cement. I did not mean to do that. But either way, we're going to make our way. Keep going. We're pretty set on this run so far. Like, I really don't feel we're going to have too many issues doing much of anything here. Um, we're just absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Well, let's make our way down. I'll have the whole map view on. It's this guy. Honestly, we want to stay above him. Mainly because of our angel, but actually because this guy just functions really well if you stand above him. Like, he's, it's very hard for him to hit you when you're above him. That's at least one very good thing about the bloat. Uh, we got PJs, and we actually got a deal of the devil here as well. I really should have taken PJs after the deal of the devil. Um, let's try that out, shall we? Hey, it's a really, really good all stats up. Really good all stats up indeed. I don't know what's going on with our face right now. Whenever we charge up, it glitches out our head. There you go. But okay, so that wasn't too bad. Ying and Yang gave us a moderate damage up and a very good fire rate up. So I'm very happy about that. Um, it's annoying that my face is going to glitch you though. Uh, let's try and change our costume. Unfortunately, that's not fixing anything. trying to fix what whatever's adding that white eye seems to be adding the glitchiness and it just it looks very disorientating and i actually think it is adding a little bit of lag to the game so i don't know what mod's adding that but it's, it's kind of annoying it's, it's dropping our frame rate by about 15 which i'm pretty much used to in isaac by now it's par for the course unfortunately modding it's not optimized in the slightest by the devs, so modding the game does lead to quite a lot of lag often. Really? I did not know those chests could do that. thought they always gave an item. Well, that was good. That was a wham-bam, wasn't it? We got a skipper turn. We got a big chubby. I like it when you call me big chubby. I'm sorry. Bob's Rotten Head. Oh, holy mantle. Ooh, yes, baby. Ooh, baby, I love your way. So we did lose a little bit of stats there. We didn't lose any fire rate, though. We didn't lose hardly any damage, so I'm not really bothered. Yeah, the, the fact that a costume is lagging us is, is rather annoying. I don't know what's going on with that. An extra chest. Chests are really good for us right now. Because we've got Humbling Bundle, plus on top of that, we've got... um. What's it called? Um, the Mum's Key. We're getting so much consumables from chests that it's kind of over the top. We probably want to go back to our shop, actually, after this floor and make sure we spend all the money we get because we're going to be getting a lot and we're going to get a lot every floor, pretty much. Right, got them two. Pretty much dead. Oh, my Holy Mantle saved me. Nice. And there you go. Both dead. No need to worry. Look at that. Yet another. I accidentally didn't pick up my Yera rune there, so we've got to make sure to go back for that. We're starting to get some Chaos enemies now, which I don't really know how. Uh, we took we took um, a few Chaos items, didn't we? Let's get our uh, Yera rune there. There you go. Make sure we got that on us. Ooh, this is a good room. 
a golden key. But I don't. And we got some sort of red rune up there. We had that last time, didn't we? That definitely replaced the mystery stack, sack, though. Yeah, look, so game is running at, like... Actually, the FPS isn't changing too much. The game's just not running at great FPS. <laughs> Not running at 40. So this definitely isn't a shop. I knew it. Um, Nah, I want to keep my money. I'll let you have them coins there. Give me my soul heart. You can have all that. And you can have a card as well. No, 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 no. I forgot, it doesn't, oh, I'm so sad, it doesn't take the card and put it on the floor, it takes the card and places it into your inventory, thus dropping what you're carrying, and it dropped the arrow rune and sucks it up. How deeply upsetting. How deeply upsetting. On the plus side, we have so many consumables, it shouldn't matter. Like, we're... Oh, no, we can get Lucky Penny still. Good to know. We're almost at 99 coins already. Very, very nice. We're getting a lot of cursed enemies already, though. A lot. I wish they went pitch black. On to Mum already. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's Red Mum as well, so we can just kind of watch out for the foot. She apparently hit me there. I didn't really feel like I was hit, but okay. Stand still. Me out of the way of the foot. Beam her down. Okay, I definitely got hit there. I agree with that hit. So, I think we've already done this. We have done Boss Rush. I will just check to see if it's anything good. Fruitcake is so fun. I really like Fruitcake. Okay, my, my play is pick up Fruitcake, hope we get a card that lets us teleport. We've got a lot of scratch cards there. There's tons of cards that let you teleport. I don't even know if Fruitcake works with this guy. By the looks of it so far, it doesn't. Which is deeply upsetting. The sun. Here comes the sun. I don't know why I walked into that. I would just walked directly into it. I immediately regret this. I do not have the strength for this. I felt like I was much like doing much more damage than I am. I'm really not dealing that much at all. Excuse me, fly. Please get out of the way. And it spawned a curse fly as well. Okay, we've almost got these guys. Okay, no, Fruitcake is working because we just we just charmed him. We shouldn't be able to charm him otherwise. Okay, that's him done. And you. Oh, we got a pill. Yes! Stella pills to save the day. Huzzah! I have tricked the game to doing exactly what I wanted it to. Down we go. Thank you, Acid Baby, for that wonderful Teller pills. And also, we got Castle Labyrinth here. That actually helps out quite a lot. It's quite nice. The world helps a lot. Apparently, the world didn't work. Because it didn't reveal the map at all. I actually charmed that guy and he didn't hurt me. Which is weird because he still should hurt you even when you're charmed. Yeah, I, I took the world card and it didn't do anything. The world card is meant to reveal the map, is it not? Oh, that enemy's cool. That enemy's very cool. Right. Take out that guy real quick. This floor is definitely a little more laggy. I really need to look into that. Maybe it's a specific mod. 
I know that specific mods add visual effects that can really fuck up your game. So I do have to be careful with that. I mean, I would like to do Hush, but I don't think we even need to, do we? Have we done Hush? No, we haven't. We haven't done Hush. That scares me, because that, mean, that might mean it's a good idea to do Hush. But I don't want to do Hush. What are these guys? Oh my god. That was unexpected. I was like, they look slightly different. Oh, hello. Wait, where am I? Did it make a new room? Or did it just teleport me to the boss of this floor? I really can't tell. I also need some HP. We got an item for that. Okay, it just made a boss room. Very strange. Kind of interesting. Rooms like that are just easy rewards. Easy breezy. So, fruitcake was kind of a weird purchase. It is working. It's just, it's very hard to tell when. Okay, we've got all of these guys now. Okay, luckily that guy was slow for a bit there. Unfortunately, as per usual, we have gone the entirely wrong way every single time so far. So that's good. That seems to be always the case when you're playing uh, the Curse of the Labyrinth. You end up going everywhere that isn't the right way. I don't know why I'm even still picking up consumables, really. I really don't need them at this point. It's just like the habit of picking them all up. Of course we go the wrong way yet again. The Emperor. That saves us a lot of time. I didn't realize the Emperor takes you to the second boss and not just the first boss. That's interesting to note. I thought the Emperor would take you to the first boss on, a, on an XL floor, but it actually takes you to the last boss, the end of the floor. We probably still should still go back and kill the other boss for the extra item. Although it's got a good chance of being conquest and just giving us the, the horse thing that we don't need. Right. He's almost dead. We got him, we got him. Ow, I still got hit again though. So we did get a deal the level, which is nice. Um we got purple skull. Player fires cursed fires that will orbit him and deal damage to enemies. Yeah, sounds cool. Ah, that, that seems pretty good. Oh, we got... Okay, this is making the game lag a bit. We got Mr. Fred and Gerdy. That's interesting. Okay, them fires are uh, really, really fucking with my FPS. Really badly. It's put it down to like 30. Okay, then two are dead now. That gets rid of the main threat. Just this guy left. And the animation glitch is bugging the hell out of me too. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you to do your thing. Just kill Mr. Fred. What I mean, do your thing. You still have to die. Okay, that was not worth it. We got a card from it, though. The tower. Yay. Let me through. I was going to say, them bombs almost exploded and killed me. Yeah, so them fires could be kind of annoying. This is the problem with, like I said before, some when some mods aren't, aren't tested thoroughly, you end up getting things like this where a specific item will massively slow down your game. With so much luck, we should blow up the fires. We should be getting a lot of chests on the next floor as well, which means... A lot more items, which means definitely higher chance of killing Blue Baby. And of course, just more fun in general. Oh my god, these guys are so annoying. One makes me larger. I'm sure I needed that. Thanks, game. When I was thinking, what pill could really benefit me the most? I was like, what makes you larger? How about that, bad boy? Really, dude? Just, just, just stop! Come on! What are you doing? Pop up! <laughs> I have to take the damage. You... That was so annoying. I mean, these fires are really cool, but I can't really do much with them right now. Got him. Justice. Not that there's many things to unlock on this floor, but thanks to the golden key. Okay. 
Hey, we found the boss really quick this time around. That's nice. Got a lot of herming enemies over here. Quickly, run away from the herming shots. This guy's kind of annoying. He splits into even more enemies. We got him there. We did get a chest here, apparently. Yep. Wow. If this was a daily, this would be easy score. Our health is a little, little troublesome here. I think that Isaac is going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Especially with our bloody angel doing absolutely nothing to help us. Which is very, very annoying. Oh my god. I'm taking so much damage. I'm not dealing that much damage at all. Like, considering the damage ups I got, I'm really not dealing that much damage at all. I thought it'd be better. I thought it'd be much better than this. Okay, finally got him into his second phase. Which I immediately get hit by, because that's fair. Okay, unfortunately, we can't get him out of the phase straight away. Let's get in this corner. Oh, sadly, I can't get him out of that phase straight away this time. This corner. I know my corner's for the most part, but sometimes it just jumps you. Or, like, switches what it's about to do. Like that. God damn it. I'll just that corner. Playing at this low FPS is not healthy. Right, definitely not doing void. Unfortunately, we don't have our Euro room, which we definitely would still have by now. Damn sucky chest. It betrayed me. Okay, so that's a, a relative shit show of items, to be honest. The sad onion's nice, but everything else there's relatively piss poor. But like I said, we should get more items, hopefully, because of our um, amount of luck. We've got to remember we have Holy Mantle too. Don't even bother with picking up keys and things like that now. Contagion did that for us. Very nice. Also, whenever the reward from Time Gal is a chest, we want to be getting it. This room shouldn't be too hard, especially with Contagion helping us out there. Wow, Contagion really helped us out there. Got like basically everything. Got them all. Hey, free item. What you got for us? Parasitoid. Doesn't really work with um, Azazel, I don't think. Very good item nonetheless. In fact, I don't think it works with him at all. Very annoying. Do you know what would be really good? A room with 10 soul hearts in it. This glitchiness is so annoying. What is going on with my poop head? Seizure warning. I'll give you a tinnitus from that other episode of the pinball. Now I'm giving you a seizure. So this is actually really good because I believe all of these will drop an item. Oh yes. Technology. Um, upon being hit, spawns fire to bees. Cool. Let's go for some bees. Unfortunately, we can't reroll those other two and they're actives. Technology doesn't actually help at all, I just realised. It just makes your laser look cool. It doesn't actually give you any extra damage or anything. We might die in this room here. This room seems really dangerous. Them guys throwing the uh, the spiders is very, very annoying. Luckily, we got one of them dead. Tried to get the angel to get him all then, but he didn't quite get him. Okay, we got him. We got him. Just the spiders left. Hey, another chest. Speed run. Finish a room in 15 seconds. Double your reward. Ooh. Okay. So now we've got another item that works like that. Time gal and speed run. Emperor. We don't really want to use the emperor right now. Oh my god, the Contagion is going so well for us right now. Contagion's doing its thing. 
15 seconds is pretty generous for a room, really. Honestly, most rooms can be done in 15 seconds. The boss death animation counting is a bit annoying. For the most part, it's not too bad. Alright, let's, let's let this guy do his thing. He's going to jump one more time and spawn some babies. Alright, there you go. Got them taken care of. An extra item. Camo undies. Everybody loves camo undies. At least we don't have to watch the horrificness when we exit a room anymore. Wow, that was nice. I still didn't reach time gal there, though. What the hell? Literally finish that room faster than is humanly possible. No time, gal. Right, down this way we go. I don't think we're very prepared for this boss, honestly. We probably die. I don't think we're about very well prepared for this room. This room here could kill us. Okay, the fact that we got through that room without taking any damage is baffling. Data miner. Mm 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 mm. No no no. No, no, no. We went all the wrong ways, which is actually fine here. Oh, of course. Triggers a random card effect. It triggered bloody Emperor. I was hoping to get some soul hearts. Teleports me to the boss with low HP. Great alternative. Okay, we, we are going to die. It's the it's the homing shots that he fires that really fuck you up. They can they can surprise you. There you go. There it is. Unfortunately we have died. We almost did it. We almost got there, but sadly it couldn't be done. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.